Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Logic Inc., Brent Sun. How are you doing today, Brent? Very well, Rich. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. Excited to have you back on the show again. And we love talking to you. Now, the company recently announced its digital marketing initiatives for the electric vehicle industry. We are very, very big fans of electric vehicles and the electrification of vehicles. Can you go through the news for us and what it means for the company? Sure, sure. So just to just to clarify, because I I actually got uh, emails and calls about it asking if we are actually getting into the the EV market, but we're we are we are evolving our our current business um, of digital marketing into the EV space. And let me describe what what that's about. Um, obviously, everyone knows what the growth looks like for electric cars. It's been enormous. Um, mm -hmm. But there's a big hairball, um, and that is, how do you charge them? Where do you charge them? Where do you go? Um, you know, how do you have a charger installed at your home? How qualified is the person doing it? How do you find them? How, how do you find the, the appropriate uh, uh, pricing for it? Um, these are the exact same issues that people have when looking for um, home improvement contractors, um, insurance policies, um, any types of products and services that are you know, relatively good sized ticket items um, and our needs more so than wants, right? So at Logic, our, our tagline on our website is that we connect brands to consumers. So in, in actuality, the EV charging market, which is one of the fastest growing, um, in fact, one of the fastest growing we've ever seen, um, being able to connect product and service providers to new and existing owners of electric vehicles is one thing that we've recently added. In fact, what we've just discovered is that there's almost no one doing it on the digital marketing side. Um, when we looked out across our peer landscape, we didn't see one single competitor that's, that's in the market. Um, that will obviously change, but right now it's, it's a fantastic market for us to be in. Brent, a lot of companies this last year have had a difficult year with the market conditions. Logic Inc. last year, this time was 10x higher than where it is now. Can you tell us, has Logic Inc. been doing better, worse, or the same in business? We've been doing a lot better in terms of the business. Um, going back to 2020, we had revenues of 15.6 million. Uh, 2021, last year, we were at 24 million. Um, I would also point out that we doubled gross profit margins, actually more than doubled gross profit margins year over year. And that was our real focus. Um, we have stated that this year, we anticipate exiting the year at a 40 to $50 million run rate. So we should be on track to um, more than doubling what we saw last year. So overall, we're doing better. Now, with the current market conditions, investors are looking for fundamental growth and wanting to look for solid revenue growth in these market environments. With Logic entering the fourth and final quarter, has the company been hitting its growth for 2022? Um, first part of the year, what I want to point out, um, anyone looking at our Q1 and Q2, um, you will see that, that, there were, that those were down quarters um, over the previous year. The reason why, and, and if you go, if you rewind Two, two years back to 2020, during COVID, we took the approach where we were going to work on improving margins, which we did. Um, this year, what we've done is taken the approach that we were eliminating the, the groups of smaller customers and focusing around middle to large size. Um, and that's primarily because the amount of work that it takes for our customer support is actually easier for the larger clients <clears throat> and a lot more work for the multiple small ones. The, the only reason that we would do this um, aligns perfectly with what we've been saying about 
um, exiting the year at a 40 to $50 million run rate. And that is we are anticipating um, new client onboarding. Um, and we've said that that would be Q4. So I, I would not uh, deviate from that. And I would point out that investors should be looking at um, any type of announcement regarding a new client or uh, clients. That's exciting. We love new clients. Brent, what would you say are your top three upcoming milestones for Logic? Sure. Um, one of the things that, that um, I want to point out is that on September 9th, um, we, we had an announcement that Logic um, is being acquired by a, a NASDAQ-listed SPAC um, uh, named Aubrey, A-B-R-I. Their ticker symbol is ASPA. We've signed a definitive merger agreement um, that we announced on September 9th. Um, the next milestone that investors should look for is what's called an S4 filing. Um, we'll also put out a press release to that effect. Um, we, what we indicated when we announced the definitive merger agreement that we were aiming to have the S4 out um, around this time. So I'd keep an eye out for that. I'd keep an eye out for new client wins. And I'd also keep an eye out for new industry um, markets that we're looking at similar to EV, which we had also pointed out before, um, cannabis, digital marketing, esports, uh, neobanks. Um, so those three, I would definitely point towards. We'll be watching very, very closely. And in your opinion, is Logic well-funded for the time being, or will you be looking to raise some funds in the near future? Um, we, we anticipate closing the, the SPAC transaction before year's end, and um, that would put us on a clear path to being on NASDAQ and pursuing uh, both an, an aggressive M&A um, strategy and would certainly enable less dilutive um, funding paths as well. Brent, is there anything else you would want people to know about Logic Inc. today? Um, you know, aside from from always saying that, that an investor should do uh, his or her due diligence. Um, one thing that I, that I find quite um, uh, compelling is that if you look at the September 9th announcement from Aubrey on, on acquiring our business, the valuation is $114 million. Wow. And right now our market cap is about 12 million. So wow. there's a pretty big disparity there. I believe that that should narrow as we approach the closing of the transaction. So okay. uh, I would do my homework. I'd, I'd look into that. Um, I think that it's uh, you know, quite a compelling story um, overall, looking at our, our growth. And then I think the, the added catalyst of going into the NASDAQ listing, um, as well as new client wins and um, seeing how we continue to track on revenues this year. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Logic Inc.? Sure. Uh, that would be IR at Logic, L-O-G-I-Q dot com. And I try to answer as many of these inquiries as I can, providing that it's not in the thousands. <laughs> Thank you for your time today. The CEO of Logic Inc., Brent Sun. I must remind you all that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, we think this is a company that is very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put the symbol on your radar, L-G-I-Q, and the company name is Logic Inc. Thank you for your time today, Brent, and we wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thanks a lot, Rich. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, CO interviews, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody and have a nice day.